Hahali's Welfare Society. The Hahali's Welfare Society was a nativist movement on Buca Island, autonomous region of Bougainville, Papua New Guinea. The movement began in 1960 and was most active in the 60s and 70s. At its peak, the society numbered half of the population of Buca Island as members. The society is best known for refusing to pay the head tax to the colonial government of the time, the Port Moresby administration, and its subsequent clash with police in 1962. While the society was mainly focused on anti-tax activism, the Port Moresby administration classified it as a cargo cult. Former police inspector John Hanna described the society this way, In 1962, we had trouble at Hahalas on Buca Island, where John Tiasen, Francis Begazic, and the old Sawa started a cargo cult. About 2,000 members joined in and the situation was rather awkward. History the Hahali's Welfare Society was formed in 1960 by Catholics John Tiasen and Francis Haddai. Initially, the movement was a breakaway from the East Coast Buca Society, which had been established for several years. Tiasen and Haddai founded the society on the principles of communal farming and self-help. They started the society as a means to get the government to aid the Halia people by building a school on the island. When this did not happen, the Halia people became unhappy and became convinced that they no longer owed the government anything if the government was not going to help them. Heavy taxes imposed on the Halia people by the colonial government caused tension on Buca Island. These tensions came to a head in 1962, culminating in the Hahalas Welfare Society Rebellion. Hahalas Welfare Society Rebellion the society was upset at the head tax imposed on them by the Port Moresby administration, believing they weren't getting their fair share of the benefits from the tax. As a group, the society vowed to pay the tax to their own organization, rather than the Port Moresby administration. The Port Moresby administration responded in February 1962. They recruited 500 police officers from throughout Papua New Guinea. When the police officers were flown to Buca, they faced off against a crowd of 1,000 society members, including men, women, and children. The ensuing confrontation ended with the injury of 40 society followers and 25 police officers, as well as the arrests of Tiasen, Haggai, and nearly 600 society members. Following the mass arrest, many supporters were released on appeal, after which the society agreed to begin paying the tax again. Tensions eased at that point, and the government left the society alone afterward. In 1975, society membership numbered half the population of Buca Island, which was 25,000 at the time. That same year, the society supported Bougainville separatism. After secession, the society supported the provincial government into the 1980s.